Hi there, welcome to BI Consulting Pro. If you are a beginner and you're still trying to find out how to provide data and analytics solutions for your organization or how to start working on data and analytics using Microsoft Power BI and Azure, then this video is for you. If you would like to know more, please stay tuned with me till the end of this video and I'm gonna let you know everything about it. So what are you waiting for? Let's get started. So let's start talking about what Power BI is. Power BI is a business intelligence and data visualization tool. With the help of that, you can connect with various data sources and can build interactive reports and dashboards. With the help of Power BI, you can connect with almost any data, anywhere, anytime. It provides various services. And one of them is that you can share your reports and dashboards with the end users. And not only that, you can also generate insights automatically. Power BI is very powerful. And here comes the role of Azure. Power BI can interact and integrate with Azure services so that you can provide one complete data and analytics solutions. Now let's talk about Azure. Azure is a cloud computing platform that provides a wide range of services for data analytics, including data storage, data processing, and machine learning. By using Azure services in conjunction with Power BI, you can perform data analytics at a scale and with high efficiency. So if you are a beginner and you have no idea about how to build your data and analytics solution with the Microsoft Power BI and Azure, then these are the steps that you can follow. Number one, familiarize yourself with the basics of Power BI and Azure. We have all the contents for you to start working with it. Start by learning the basic concepts of Power BI and Azure, including how to create visualizations, connect to data sources, and use the features of each tool. Step number two, choose the appropriate Azure services. Azure provides a wide range of services for data analytics, so choose the service that are most appropriate for your needs, such as Azure Data Factory to integrate the data or to copy the data, and Azure Machine Learning to perform machine learning part. We already created several videos and free courses. If you subscribe our channel, then you would find all the playlist and also in the description section. So please don't forget to check it out. Step number three, connect Power BI to Azure services. Now in this part, you have to connect your Microsoft Power BI to the respective Azure services. For example, Azure Analysis Services, where you can connect to your Azure Analysis Service Cube via live connection or live storage mode and then you can get access to all the data. Based on that, you can create any of the visualization that you would like to perform. So step number four, choose a data source. Power BI can connect to a wide range of data sources, including Excel spreadsheets, SQL Server databases, and cloud-based services like Salesforce. So if you are using Microsoft Power BI, you can choose a data source that is most appropriate to your need. And after that, if you have data already on Microsoft Azure, then also you can build your solution on the top of that. But it can also happen that in many cases, you would like to perform the real-time data analytics. That one also you can do with the help of Azure and Microsoft Power BI. We have already created one video on this topic as well. So if you would like to see how it works or how you can use it, then please check the video link in the description section. Step number five, which is going to be the last step over here, that means to perform data analytics. With Microsoft Power BI connected to the data sources and Azure services, you can start performing data analytics by creating visualizations, creating reports, and using Power BI data analysis capabilities. So there you have it. That's how you can get started with data analytics solutions using Microsoft Power BI and Azure. This is a great combination, guys. If you are looking to gain insights of your data, you want to make informed decisions and want to improve the performance of your organization, then this is going to be the best combination. So why not to try it? Please go ahead and give it a try. And if you would like to learn more, please stay tuned on our channel where we publish all the contents related to Microsoft Power BI and Microsoft Azure. And if you are over here for the very first time, please don't forget to subscribe our channel and also join our channel as a member and take the advantage of all the benefits that we have.